कंटेंट फिटनेस टेस्ट एस खेलो इंडिया फिटनेस टेस्ट इन स्कूल एज ग्रुप फाइव टू एट वाई आर एस क्लास वन टू थ्री बी एम आई फ्लैमिंग ओ बैलेंस टेस्ट प्लेट टैपिंग टेस्ट ओ एज ग्रुप नाइन एटीन वाई आर एस क्लास फोर टू ट्वेल्व बी एम आई फिफ्टी मेट्रिक टन स्पीड टेस्ट सिक्स हंड्रेड मेट्रिक टन रन वॉक सिट एंड रीच फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी टेस्ट स्ट्रेंथ टेस्ट एबडोमिनल पार्शल कर्ला पुशअप्स फॉर बॉयज मॉडिफाइड पुशअप्स फॉर गर्ल्स कंप्यूटिंग बैसल मेटाबॉलिक रेट बी एम आर रिकली एंड जोन सीनियर सिटीजन फिटनेस टेस्ट वन चेस्ट आर्म टेस्ट फॉर लोअर बॉडी स्ट्रेंथ टू आर्म कर्ल टेस्ट फॉर अपर बॉडी स्ट्रेंथ थ्री चेस्ट सिट एंड रीच टेस्ट फॉर लोअर बॉडी फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी फोर बैक स्क्रैच टेस्ट फॉर अपर बॉडी फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी फाइव एट फुट अप एंड गो टेस्ट फॉर एजिलिटी सिक्स सिक्स मिन्यूट वॉक टेस्ट फॉर एरोबिक एंडस खेलो इंडिया फिटनेस असेसमेंट एज ग्रुप फाइव टू एट इयर्स वर्टिकल बार क्लास वन टू थ्री एट प्राइमरी क्लास वन टू थ्री चिल्ड्रन शुड एक्वायर फंडामेंटल मूवमेंट स्किल्स एफ एम एस लीविंग द लर्निंग ऑफ स्पेसिफिक फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज टू लेटर स्टेजेस एफ एम एस प्रोवाइड द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स फॉर मेनी फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज सच एस प्लेइंग गेम्स डांस एंड स्पोर्ट लोकोमोटर मैनिपुलेटिव एंड बॉडी मैनेजमेंट एबिलिटीज आर की टू सक्सेस इन मोस्ट स्पोर्ट्स एंड फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज एबिलिटीज ऑफ चिल्ड्रन इन क्लास वन टू थ्री विच नीड टू बी मेजर्ड एंड ट्रैक्ट आर वन बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन बी एम आई टू कोऑर्डिनेशन प्लेट टैपिंग थ्री बैलेंस फ्लैमिंग वो बैलेंस बॉडी मास इंडेक्स body composition refers primarily to the distribution of muscle and fat in the body body size such as height lengths and girths are also grouped under this component body mass index bmi is calculated from body weight w and height h bmi is equal to w h x h where w is equal to body weight in kilograms and h is equal to height in meters The higher the score usually indicating higher levels of body fat. Equipment: flat, clean surface, weighing machine, stadiometer measuring tape pasted on a wall. Measuring height accurately. Remove the participants shoes, bulky clothing and hair ornaments that interferes with the measurement. Take the height measurement on flooring that is not carpeted and against a flat surface such as a wall with no molding. Have the participants stand with feet flat together and back against the wall. Make sure legs are straight, arms are at sides and shoulders are level. Make sure the participant is looking straight ahead and that the line of sight is parallel with the floor. Take the measurement while the participant stands with head, shoulders, buttocks and heels touching the flat surface wall. See illustration Depending on the overall body shape of the participant all points may not touch the wall Use a flat headpiece to form a right angle with the wall and lower the headpiece until it firmly touches the crown of the head Make sure the measurer's eyes are at the same level as the headpiece Lightly mark where the bottom of the headpiece meets the wall Then use a metal tape to Measure from the base on the floor to the marked measurement on the wall. Measuring weight accurately. Scales that are spring loaded. Place the scale on firm flooring such as tile or wood rather than carpet. Have the participant remove shoes and heavy clothing such as sweaters. Have the participant stand with both feet in the center of the scale. Record the weight to the nearest decimal fraction. For example, 25.1 kilograms plate tapping test purpose test speed and coordination of limb movement equipment table adjustable height to yellow discs 20 cm diameter rectangle 30 by 20 cm stopwatch procedure if possible The table height should be adjusted so that the subject is standing comfortably in front of the discs. The two yellow discs are placed with their centers 60 cm apart on the table. 
the rectangle is placed equidistant between both discs. The non-preferred hand is placed on the rectangle. The subject moves the preferred hand back and forth between the discs over the hand in the middle as quickly as possible. This action is repeated for 25 full cycles, 50 taps. Scoring, the time taken to complete 25 cycles, is recorded. Administrative suggestion, participants should be encouraged to stand in a balanced posture, feet apart to shoulder width. Results are usually better if the participant can maintain constant pace during most of the run. Amingo Balance Test Purpose Ability to balance successfully on a single leg This single leg balance test assesses the strength of the leg, pelvic, and trunk muscle as well as static balance. Equipment, non-slippery even surface, stopwatch, can be done on just standing on beam. Procedure 1. Stand on the beam Keep balance by holding the instructor's hand, if required to start. 2. While balancing on the preferred leg, the free leg is flexed at the knee and the foot of this leg held close to the buttocks. 3. Start the watch as the instructor lets go of the participant subject. 4. Pause the stopwatch each time the subject loses balance, either by falling off the beam or letting go of the foot being held. 5. Resume over. Again timing until they lose balance. Count the number of falls in 60 seconds of balancing. 6. If there are more than 15 falls in the first 30 seconds, the test is terminated. Scoring 1. The total number of falls or loss of balance in 60 seconds of balancing is recorded. 2. If there are more than 15 falls in the first 30 seconds, the test is terminated. Administrative suggestion, participants should be encouraged to eyes focused on stationary objects straight ahead. Age group, 9, 18 plus years, class 4 to 12. Why we do test and measurement? Motor fitness is a person's ability to do physical activities. Motor fitness is a term that describes an athlete's ability to perform effectively during sports or other physical activity. Testing motor fitness consists of measuring of all components of motor fitness, agility, coordination, balance, speed, reaction time. Motor fitness test provides to the student a score regarding the level of fitness, effectiveness of any training program, and present status, thereby motivating her him to do better etc. Motor fitness test Name of the test aim of test to measure equipment used. 50M speed test measure the acceleration, speed of athlete speed measuring tape, cone, stop watch, flat and clear surface. 600M run walk measure the aerobic fitness of the athlete running track, marking cones, recording sheets, stop watch. Sit and reach test measure the flexibility of the athlete sit and reach box, measuring tape. Partial curl up measure the abdominal strength of the athlete's stopwatch, recording sheet, non slipping surface. Push up, boys, and modified push up, girls, measure the upper body muscle strength stopwatch, recording sheet, non slipping surface. Motor fitness is a person's ability to do physical activities. Motor fitness is a term that describes an athlete's ability to perform effectively during sports or other physical activity. An athlete's motor fitness is a combination of five different components, each of which is essential for high levels of performance. APID is equal to American Alliance for Health, Physical Education, Recreation and Dance. Oldest professional organization in USA. Formed in 1965 and revised in 1976, the following items are in test battery. 50M Standing Start Purpose To measure speed and acceleration Equipment required Measuring tape or mark track Stopwatch Cone markers Flat and clear surface of at least 60 meters Whistle Procedure the student is asked to run 50 meter and the time taken is recorded as the score in seconds. 
600 m run walk purpose to measure cardiovascular endurance or aerobic fitness equipment flat and clean field stopwatch whistle measuring tape or marking cones procedure the subject is asked to or walk for a distance of 600 meters from the starting line and the time taken is recorded in minutes and seconds sit and reach test purpose to measure flexibility equipment sit and reach box mat procedure student should sit without shoes with the soles of her his feet touching the sit and reach box both knees should be locked and pressed flat to the floor on the command go the student stretch forward slowly reaching as far as possible with both hands without a jerk and should hold the maximum stretch position for 2 seconds scoring the score is recorded to the nearest centimeter that is the distance between the initial position and final position partial curl up purpose to measure abdominal strength and endurance equipment gym mat with two parallel lines 6 inches apart stopwatch procedure the student is asked to lie on his back and keep the knees bent at an angle of 90 degrees hands should be placed straight and parallel to the body scoring maximum number of partial collapse completed without rest in 30 seconds will be recorded push ups purpose to measure the muscular strength of arms and upper body equipment stopwatch non slipping surface or gym mat procedure the push up begins with the hands and toes touching the ground and the body and legs in a straight line the feet slightly apart and arms are at shoulder width the student lowers the body until there is 90 degree angle at the elbows then returns to the starting position the maximum number of correct push ups performed are noted boys girls Rickley and Jones Senior Citizen Fitness Test In 2001, Roberta E. Rickley and C. Jesse Jones invented a method called Senior Fitness Test, also known as Fullerton Functional Fitness Test, in the Lifespan Wellness Clinic in California State University in Fullerton. The purpose of the test was to evaluate functional ability and monitor the physical fitness status of older people and to identify problems at risk senior citizens and work on the weakness this test should be planned safely for effective physical education programs for senior citizens so as to know the fitness level this test is economical and easy to administer it is a tool to measure the functional fitness of senior citizens by using six parameters the tests are s dot and o name of the test for measuring one Chest arm test for measuring lower body strength 2. Arm curl test for measuring upper body strength 3. Chair sit and reach test for measuring lower body flexibility 4. Back scratch test for measuring upper body flexibility 5. 8 foot up and go test for measuring agility 6. 6 minute walk test for measuring aerobic endurance. Chair stand test. For lower body strength purpose test the lower body strength especially the legs equipment stopwatch a chair without arms and 44 centimeters high procedure the participants sit in between the chair feet apart arms crossed on the command go individuals start to stand completely and sit for 30 seconds the total number of complete chair stands is the score in 30 seconds. Arm curl test for upper body strength. Purpose to assess the upper body strength. Equipment stopwatch, chair, dumbbell for men 8 pounds, 3.6 kilograms, and women 5 pounds, 2.3 kilograms. Procedure the participants sit in the middle of the chair, dominant arm do the curl. The curl is repeated for 30 seconds. Scoring the total number of arm curls performed in 30 seconds. Chair sit and reach test. For flexibility of lower body. Purpose to measure the flexibility of the lower body 
especially for hamstring. Equipment, a chair, scale ruler. Procedure, the participants sit on the edge of the chair. One foot remains flat on the floor, while the other is extended in front with the knee straight. One hand is placed directly on top of the other so that they are extended forward by bending from the back. If individual touches the toe, score is zero. If he cross the toe score is positive and if he do not reach up to toe score is negative one. Back scratch test for upper body flexibility. Purpose to measure upper body flexibility, shoulder. Equipment, a scale ruler. Procedure, individual stand straight, one hand is kept behind the head and other behind the back. If the fingers touches the score is zero, if the fingers overlap the score is positive and if the fingers do not touch, the score is negative. 8 foot UP and go test for agility. Purpose to measure speed, agility and coordination. Equipment, a chair, stopwatch, a cone and a measuring tape. Procedure, individuals sit on the chair, hands on knees. On the command go he stand up and walk around the cone, which is kept in front of the chair, 8 feet from chair. Two trials are given and best one is recorded. 6 minute walk test. Purpose, to measure aerobic fitness and endurance. Equipment, stopwatch and measuring tape. Procedure, in a rectangular area, 45.7 to MX 4.57 M. Cones are placed along the walking lines to show the distance covered. The participant has to walk as long as he can within the duration of 6 minutes. Score, total distance covered within 6 minutes.